Well, the issue of juvenile crime is also leading to a fiery debate at a public safety town hall. Mackenzie Frost has more on that fallout in a moment. Our team coverage begins with Keith Daniels and Ivan Bates for a message in southeast Baltimore. Keith? Well, Kai, the city state's attorney's office says Ivan Bates was invited to that community walk, and he showed up with a familiar, stern message. They live in a neighborhood called Graceland Park, a small community tucked away off Dundalk Avenue near O'Donnell Street in southeast Baltimore. On this night, this small group of residents walking with big concerns, pointing out what they're calling a hot spot for crime. Everything is going on, prostitution, drug dealing, you know, you name it. This man, who wants to remain anonymous, talking about this part of the block on German Hill Road, a vacant lot where neighbors say groups congregate, engage in criminal activity, including open-air drug dealing, involving in some cases youth offenders. Lawlessness, they say, frustrating those who live close by. Frustrated because of the same things. Nothing has been changed. We, we need to have a change. Edie Schumann, president of the Graceland Park Improvement Association, organized this community walk, invited police and city state's attorney Ivan Bates to attend. Schumann, hoping BPD and Bates can help bring peace back to their neighborhood. Residents in the community are living in terror here. They live in terror. There's been a few shootings here that's happened. At the end of the day, enforcement's going to follow on the state's attorney's office because they're the Ivan Bates' ahead um, enforcement um, officer. I asked for the job. I want the job. I'm trying to do the job because I'm trying to benefit and be there for them because they're frustrated. They should have to live like this. They pay, pay taxes. They go to work. They're trying to make our city the best they can. I need to do what I can as well. Regarding the juveniles allegedly involved in the drug dealing in the neighborhood, Bates continues his tough talk on accountability. Well, they are kids. They are kids. We love our kids, but sometimes you have to have tough love. The other things we also realize when it comes to some of those activities like that, we're finding that they're part of an organization. We have older people, adults, preying upon the juveniles because they know that nothing will happen to the juveniles. Well, Bates' office also invited other city agencies, including the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services, to participate in that walk, part of their, their partnership plan, they say, to help communities in need. We're live tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.